that's fair, that's equal, and that's ours. They are stealing our wealth, they're stealing our money, they're giving it to people who have already accumulated far more than they need, and we're here to say, we want it back. We want our money back. I lived through the conflict here, and I've never seen so much policing as I saw against um, watching the very peaceful protest on Saturday. We're here protesting today because we completely disagree with inter the proposed introduction of hydraulic fracking in Fermanagh. We think it will ruin our wee county and it is just, that's why we're out here today. Yeah, and you can see there's many people here protesting against that today. No way David Cameron could frack here after he's seen how beautiful this place is and he wouldn't like to do any damage to the people as lovely as this. <laughs> they control a large part of the power in the world and they're doing little or nothing to deal with wor uh, world hunger, disease, poverty and climate change. They don't represent me and I'm not happy to see them on this island. I came with some friends from Germany, from Munich, uh, to protest against uh, the capitalism and we just made our own banner <laughs> and we wrote on it Merkel halt small that means Merkel shut up. I'm against austerity and I think we need people power and we need to get people out on the streets and that's the only way we can resolve this crisis. Um, I lost a brother on Bloody Sunday and we've been basically marching, protesting for 42 years for the truth about Bloody Sunday to come out. We've had a couple of inquiries and none of them acceptable. We're not fools. We're not falling for a crowd of leaders who are inflicting austerity across the world, also inflicting war on people. So yeah, that's why we're here to protest. And the reality is, most young people in my year group will be forced to emigrate. Why should we be treated like we are worthless when in actual fact we should be the future of Northern Ireland. They represent destruction. They represent everything that's negative about human society. Well, the G8 may well want to blast and ruin the earth before they leave the stage of history. But we carry a new world in our hearts and the ordinary people of this earth will build that world, a shining world, in contrast to the darkness and the shadows represented by the G8.